Cal OES logo inside look oesnews.com. Hi, I'm Brian May with Cal OES. We are in the heart of Guerneville, just about a block off of Main Street. And if there are two things that have been consistent both here and throughout Sonoma County over the past several days, the relentless amount of rain and piles of debris. Men slide a metal appliance into a dumpster. A seemingly never ending parade of vehicles lines up at one of the debris drop off points in Guerneville. As Sonoma County residents clean out from the recent floods, this debris drop off point is being provided by the county to help speed up the process. But residents need to know what they can and can't drop off here. What we're doing is providing dumpsters for flood debris removal um, through the county and we are taking basically disposable material, uh, metal appliances. We do not take any hazardous materials, any televisions, electronics, uh, you know, paint, fluorescent light bulbs, batteries, anything like that. Across the Russian River, teams of county, state, and federal crews are going house to house, checking on damages, answering questions, and just providing face-to-face -face contact. It is rather important as these teams go out, they might need to ask additional questions on what was the level of impact um, to be able to properly understand the complete picture of what has happened. Um, because just by looking on the, on, the, on the outside, these teams might not necessarily be able to properly understand what exactly has uh, happened to each, to each home. Back across the river in Guerneville, the local assistance center on Main Street continues to be a place where impacted residents can come with their questions and needs. A lot of people still have questions about debris removal. So we've posted some information on our website, socoemergency.org, about the debris removal sites. Those are open throughout the week as well as some into next weekend. However, we know that people are waiting um, for volunteer organizations to perhaps come and help them with that debris removal and uh, we encourage them to keep just checking back in at our local assistance center as there are several organizations who are starting to organize volunteers to help with debris removal. Outside the local assistance center, the Salvation Army serves up hot meals while the American Red Cross has passed out over 300 cleanup kits. From here on moving out, we're distributing from the local assistance center here and we're running some mobile routes as well to make sure that highly affected areas that may not be able to access the pods are receiving them as well. If you need any more information about the debris removal process or any of the services that are being offered throughout Sonoma County, you can go to the county's emergency website. That's socoemergency.org. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching.